Well, an estimated 1 million visitors will descend on the valley next week, ready or not, for Super Bowl 42. And parties are planned from Glendale to Scottsdale. But with all that celebration comes major security. Ben Lemoyne spent the day with federal agents who are making sure your Super Bowl experience is a safe one. Ben? Hey, Patty, you know, according to the FBI, Super Bowl security is the largest uh, security operation in the country at any time during the year. They say that uh, this is something obviously they do every year. They go to a different city, but they say their agents spend more than a year trying to prepare for this. And they say for them, a quiet Super Bowl is actually a successful one. Just outside the stadium, they're polishing things up putting on a little paint, even planting palm trees. But there's much more to a successful Super Bowl than just a pretty place to play. And ATF brings an explosives expertise. We bring explosives detection canine teams, sweep teams, uh, bomb techs. Behind all the chants and cheers, there will be checks and rechecks for security breaches. This is obviously a wonderful target for some crazy person, be he a international terrorist, domestic terrorist, or just some nut. Today, federal and local law enforcement officers gave us a peek at their game plan for game day safety. For the ATF, it means a year and a half of preparation bomb sniffing dogs and all eyes on this building. I mean this is the largest single day sporting event in the world and because of that there's a lot of logistical operational uh, matters that have to be dealt with and you can't wait to the last minute to do that. For the FBI it means intelligence gathering, threat analysis and every available resource spread throughout the valley. We bring in uh, electronics guys, hazmat guys, uh, uh, computer analysis uh, type individuals. For Rob Winkle, the big game gives his big vocabulary an audience. We use what's called a frequency modulated continuous wave radar. Whatever that means, his company will be setting up six radars around the perimeter of the stadium, searching for shady characters. Once the stadium is swept and they don't want people inside these certain areas, uh, we can uh, monitor those areas and then alert the uh, Glendale Police Department if there's any intrusions in those areas. And with all that in mind, police hope for a peaceful, party-like atmosphere. They say you won't see them, just know they're there. The only thing people have, should have to worry about on Super Bowl Sunday is whether their team wins or loses. They shouldn't have to worry about anything else. That's why all the planning, the preparation, the uh, interagency working, all that kind of stuff, uh, we're hoping for just a nice time, a good Super Bowl uh, with minimal problems. And according to the FBI, they do get threats just about every year, Patty. They say either emails or calls, but they also say they have not had a substantial or a substantive one so far, hoping for a quiet Super Bowl again this year. All right. Thank you very much for that, Ben.